Standing shoulder to shoulder with Ukraine are abound. The United States of America under Joe Biden has sent aid worth several billions of dollars to Ukraine, using taxpayer money, of course. This solidarity, many think, is genuine. Is it? Is the Biden administration really concerned about Ukraine or is it bored with the war in Europe? Because Joe Biden is desperately trying to strike a deal with Putin's Russia. The Biden administration seems to have realized that it cannot stop communicating with Russia. So, Secretary of State Antony Blinken is looking to speak with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in the coming days. According to Blinken, the focus of the call will be on a prisoner swap between Washington and Moscow. Can you guess what the focus will not be on? Ukraine. The Biden administration has submitted a proposal to the Kremlin seeking the release of two Americans, Brittany Greener and Paul Whelan in exchange for convicted Russian arms trafficker Viktor Balt. Paul Whelan has been held by Russia for alleged espionage since 2018, while Brittany Greener has been jailed in Moscow since February for alleged drug possession. The US Justice Department is opposed to the potential prisoner swap with Russia, but Joe Biden ignored such advice to give a decisive go-ahead for the deal to be communicated with the Russians. The war in Ukraine is not coming to an end anytime soon. The midterm congressional polls in the United States, on the other hand, are fast approaching. A democratic rout under the leadership of Joe Biden is what is being predicted. Inflation is soaring and commodity prices are running sky high. Gas prices continue to burn holes into the pockets of ordinary Americans, while the Biden administration sells oil from the USA's strategic reserves in futile attempts of getting crude prices to cool off. Joe Biden's proposal for a deal to swap prisoners with Russia has opened high-level communication between the two countries, so much so that the foreign ministers from both Washington and Moscow are about to talk to each other. Such communication was snapped after a barrage of Western sanctions came raining down on Russia following its invasion of Ukraine. Since the war in Ukraine broke out, the Biden administration has committed aid worth well over $54 billion to the Eastern European country. The longer the war in Ukraine goes on, the more cash Washington will have to splurge at a time when its own economy is bracing for a potential recession. For the United States, peace in Ukraine might just be the best option available right now. For that to happen, and for Washington to play any role in settling the issue of Ukraine with Russia, communication lines with Moscow must be opened. Joe Biden's prisoner swap proposal has done just